Well, hey there, Leo. This is Cindy from the New Moon Tarot, and this is a general love reading for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Leo for the week of the 21st. Uh, we are looking at the overall energy here. I'm also going to pull cards for your person and clarify everything in real time. Yes, that means shuffling. Please like and subscribe since I post weekly. If you want the extended reading, click the join button down below. It's $10. You get access to all of the extendeds for every single sign for an entire month. And if this one doesn't resonate so much, go ahead and check out your natal chart and my other readings, specifically your moon and your Venus. You may want to do that anyway, since there could be messages there for you. So we got a lot of twos here. Uh, twos in tarot can sometimes mean duality. It's often about decision making here. I think you have a very strong connection to someone. We've got the Two of Cups. Two of Cups is a partnership card. It's one of my favorite relationship cards, full stop. Um, it's like a partner in crime. This person gets me. I get them. We're on the same page. We want the same things. We're in this together. It's in the reverse, though. So the two of you are kind of on the outs. Things may feel awkward between the two of you. Maybe there's no balance here. We have the three of wands in reverse. Three of wands can be something of a long distance relationship card. In the reverse, I'm waiting for something to happen. I'm waiting to hear from this person. I'm waiting for this relationship to go in a new direction. I'm waiting and nothing's happening. We have the two of wands. Uh, this is trying to choose a path forward, making some long term decisions here. So I'm not sure like if this person is trying to decide what they want. Maybe you're trying to decide like, should I stay? Should I go? Do I even pursue this? That two of pentacles is kind of going back and forth, weighing options. Sometimes it can mean being wishy-washy. Maybe you're kind of going back and forth here and you're just really not sure what you want to do. Um, there is some uncertainty here and there is a strong connection. I think that's maybe why you're still hanging on here. All right, let's take a closer look at your person's energy. Okay, so far we have the Nine of Swords. I'm going to pull cards from the Modern Witch Tarot that you see on the table. And to clarify it, uh, the Tarot of Mystic Mondays. At the end, I'll pull cards for how this person feels about you, as well as something that they're thinking or that they need to say here. So Nine of Swords is you live in rent-free in somebody's head. We have the Six of Pentacles. Six of Pentacles is someone who wants to give to this situation. They haven't given up on it. They maybe want to balance the scales here. They value you. They value this connection. They want to invest. Got the Seven of Pentacles. Uh, this is like a rebuilding kind of a card. I need to adjust the amount of time or energy or effort that I'm giving to this connection. I need to do something differently here. Uh, what I've been doing isn't working. So that Nine of Swords, they're in their head about this connection, maybe thinking how they can fix it, how they can get things back on track here. Ooh. And we've got the Tower, Major for Scorpio. Let's arrange these. So the Tower is a huge like a revelation. It can mean like something being cut off or something being cut out. Sometimes it's, it's always a destructive force, but it's ultimately for a good thing. This is like losing a job or getting a divorce or just having a massive fight with someone, a breakup even. Um, to me, it looks like this person's having a wake up call. Six of swords, moving into calmer waters with someone. I'm not sure either like there's a tower moment coming or this person has had a tower moment. Ooh, and would you look at that? We have the lovers. Lovers is major for Gemini. It's an intense connection. It can mean a soulmate or a soul tie. It's also just like I feel this extreme attraction to this person. I feel this tie. I can't let go of it. Someone following their heart instead of their head, along with the Empress, Taurus and Libra energy there. She's the divine feminine, the wife, the mother. This is someone nurturing the connection, giving to it, maybe finding you very attractive here. 
uh, wanting to take this connection maybe to the next level. Okay, I've got the Three of Cups. That is a reconciliation card. It's a reason to celebrate here. You could have had a bad breakup with this person. It's like they've realized that they haven't given enough time or energy or effort here or that they still want to invest in this connection. Yeah, Five of Pentacles is a card about I don't have enough. I have the sense of lot like lack of loss. It's being left out in the cold. Maybe you walked away from this person. Um, pentacles are always like tangible, physical things. This person feels like they need to up their game. What they've been doing isn't working. Well, we have the Ace of Cups. That's being in love with someone. It's falling in love here. It's getting exactly what you wanted. Um, that Ace of Cups is just basically a starting a new love cycle. It's being kind of head over heels about somebody. We have the four of wands, stability in a connection, a long-term relationship. Feeling like someone is your home here. Ooh, six of wands is a victory card. I think you're going to have everything that you wanted here from this person. If you wanted a stable connection, that's what's coming in. We have the Fool. The Fool is major for Aries. It's taking a risk. It's taking a leap. You have a new beginning with this person. They're willing to take this risk now. They're going to go forward with you. Um, the Fool is like very bold, very brave energy. I just think that there's been some sort of a destruction here so that this relationship can be saved. Either it's coming or it's already happened and the dust is still settling here. Yeah, we've got the two of pentacles in reverse. So that two of pentacles is like I'm going back and forth. I'm trying to decide what I want to do. In the reverse, it can mean someone who's reprioritizing. They've been focusing on the wrong things. And I think that's what that six and seven of pentacles is about. I value this person. Why am I not, <laughs> why am I not making them an offer with the page of pentacles here? Why am I not giving to them? That's what I should be doing. So I think you're about to have what you wanted with this person. I think this is going to be an awesome connection. Uh, let's go ahead and do this person's feelings for you as well as something that they're thinking here. Okay. How does this person currently feel about you? What are the current feelings here? Got the Eight of Cups in reverse. They can't emotionally detach from you. Even if this person walked away, they still find themselves very emotionally entangled with you. And I think that's why they're going to do something here. You could have had an ending with this person or you're about to have one that's going to lead to something more permanent here. Let's do... Let's do what they're thinking, something that they need to say here. I will wait for a sign from you. Maybe they don't know if you want to even continue this. I remember every detail of that day. I do think they're doing and like some obsession here. You and I were too young or too immature. Maybe it was they were too immature. Hold on. And we have, I'm afraid to contact you. I will wait for a sign from you and I'm afraid to contact you. You may or may not still be in contact with this person. Even if you are still in contact, you're not saying what needs to be said and neither are they. You and I were too young or too immature. I remember every detail of that day. They could be talking about like the time they met you. They could be talking about the ending that you had or a big fight that you've had. This person's clearly very focused on you. You're going to see some huge changes sweep in here. All right. 
Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Please like and subscribe for me since I post weekly. If you want the extended, click the join button down below. It's $10. You get access to all of the extendeds for every single sign for an entire month. We're going to do feelings, intentions, the advice, and the unknown. All right. Blessed be.